Good evening, boils and ghouls. As you can see from the, uh, I guess, snapshot of the uh, video, I did pick up the Vincent Price Pop. Uh, I've been very selective with my pops lately. I haven't bought one in a couple of months now, so I had to pick up pick up Vincent to add to the collection. You can tell he's he has a little cat in his hands there, so I thought that was pretty neat. Um, and then there he is on their back. All right, most of this is just Dollar Tree stuff I picked up today. Not a lot, because I went to another area this morning. Found the same stuff at one, so I didn't pick, pick anything up from that store, and then a couple from the different stores. But these are, this particular, uh, these two titles here are old. So I was at one a couple of weeks ago, or like last week, and I found uh, Seether Disclaimer 2. Uh, I've I've since opened it and listened to it, but I like this album a lot. Uh, I've seen them perform once. It was pretty good, I thought. Uh, this one, I was kind of interested in it, but I kind of weird. I wouldn't usually pick this up. But this is a TV series, uh, 12 episodes from Echo Bridge, and that is uh, Bubby's No Best. This is a 12-episode um, disc, 272 minutes, uh, this is about, I guess, Jewish grandmas trying to help, uh, people fall in love or something, I don't know, it, it looked interesting, it's got Zach Galifianakis in the final episode, so that was pretty much a selling point for me, I got this before the dollar twenty five jump, so paid a dollar for it, so why not, I guess, I don't know. Probably not even going to watch it. Um, moving forward. This one is one that people have been looking for. And I found it at one store. And this is the only thing I bought from said store. This is a four movie set of basically Giallo's uh, Deadly Fiends collection here on DVD. You get uh, two that I have heard of and two that I have not. So the case of the Bloody Iris. I've never heard of that. Your Vice is Locked is a locked room, and only I have the key. I've heard of that one. Death Laid an Egg, I've heard of that one. And The Dark is Death's Friend, I have not heard of. I believe they're all from the 70s, but the, they don't have the uh, dates on the back here. Total of six hours and two minutes combined for all four movies. They're about an hour and a half each. And I believe they're on, yeah, two discs, so two and two, but here are the movie posters. I know two of these have Arrow releases on Blu-ray, but the other two I'm not sure. Leave a comment down below if you've heard of any of those. Um, I picked this up, I thought my brother didn't have it, I think he said he, he might, but I don't know. This is the one that I saw that people pick up. This is a film featuring Danny Trejo, and that is The Last Exorcist. I say featuring because it says his name first on the front. Selling point. On the back, it's it's the last credit. So he's probably in here for like five minutes. It's like he plays some sort of priest. Uh, 2020 uh, from Uncorked Entertainment. Says the war ends here on the back. Uh, next up, I believe this one. I thought this one's supposed to have some sort of replacement disc, but I'm not 100%. So, Mill Creek, if you're watching or if you guys know, let me know. But this is the Pop Culture Bento Box. Uh, this has four movies and. Uh, three cartoons with four episodes each. Uh, this is 10 hours and 41 minutes worth of features. You get the Little Prince and the Eight-Headed Dragon, the Battle in Outer Space, Mothra, which I have on Steelbook in the, in the um, hallway over there, uh, Memories, Astro Boy, four episodes, Viper's Creed, four episodes, and Godzilla the Series, four episodes. I believe I have Godzilla the Series, the complete series already on DVD.
but the other, the other two I do not. So, uh, yeah, there's all your run times and years and all that. Uh, Blu-rays, I only found two today. Um, so I found the remake of Red Dawn. Uh, I've seen the original, never got around to watching the remake. I've heard different things about it. Uh, this one you get Chris Hemsworth, Josh Peck, Josh Hutcherson, Adrian Pilecki, Isabel Lucas, Connor Cruz, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan. And I thought this one was cool. This is an Anchor Bay Blu-ray, which Anchor Bay is no longer uh, in business. Uh, I've seen this movie out and about before. I don't know. If, I don't think I might have it on DVD, but I got abandoned with Brittany Murphy, Dean Kane, Mimi Rogers, and Peter Bogdanovich. This is from 2010. Or 2010 release. I think it was from the actual movie itself. Is from 2008. Uh, this is a psychological um, thriller. It says it's in in tradition of the Twilight Zone. So I thought that was a good selling point. So that is it for the Dollar Tree today. I did go to another bookstore this morning as well. I got four titles. They had a deal buy two get two. So, of course, I went to the Blu-rays first, the the new Blu-rays first, then I went to the uh, regular Blu-rays, and then I went to the DVDs. I didn't, I only found four Blu-rays. They're all new-ish. I gotta cut them open and look at them first, see if they're still, if they're in good shape, because they have a return policy. I believe it's two weeks, so I'm sure they're fine. I never had an issue with them. Uh, you'll see that they have stickers on on the cases. Those come off. Like I said, I didn't check them yet. So once I check them, I will take them off. Um, so like I said, they were buy two get two. So basically, I got four Blu-rays for twenty dollars, give or take. First one here is a Scream Factory IFC Midnight film called Centigrade. This is from 2020, 89 minutes. Uh, it's in English. It, it apparently it's inspired by real events. Basically, this couple uh, they're traveling through the Arctic Mountains of Norway. They pull over during a snowstorm. They wake up trapped inside their SUV, buried in snow and ice. And it doesn't help that she's eight months pregnant, and they need to find a way to get out. And, or survive this uh, this snowstorm. So um, I think I can pretty much tell from everybody that this is very um, triggering if you are you don't like being stuck in one spot for a long time. Me myself, I don't like being stuck in one spot uh, for a long period of time. So not really looking forward to that one. Claustrophobia. Claustrophobia would go through the roof. Uh, next up is another Scream Factory release here. This is from 2020, and it is a film called Kindred. Uh, this is 101 minutes in English. After the death of her boyfriend, a vulnerable mother-to-be Charlotte is taken in by her deceased partner's mother, Margaret, and stepbrother Thomas. But Charlotte's source of comfort soon turns to terror as her benefactors begin to appear increasingly obsessed with her every move. Plagued by mysterious hallucinations, Charlotte finds her suspicions raging with questions about Margaret and Thomas's intentions with her unborn child. Sounds creepy. Uh, don't recognize any of the cast, nor do I uh, recognize the director. But I'm intrigued. And the next two are Shutter Original Blu-rays. These were not at Dollar Tree, obviously. If they were, I wouldn't have picked these up. Because I like to watch them first before I upgrade. But... 
If I can get them for five bucks, I'll pick them up. So this one we have is called Spiral. Not to be confused with the Spiral Book of Saw movie with the same name. This one is about a uh, same-sex couple move to a small town so they can enjoy a better quality of, of life as they raise their 16-year-old daughter. But nothing is as it seems in the picturesque neighborhood. And when they see that the folks next door are throwing a very strange party, being the new family in town suddenly feels extremely dangerous. So I feel like this is about some sort of cult. This is from 2019 and it's 90 minutes. Put up by Shudder and ROJE Films. And then the last, uh, the last pickup here is a film called Violation. Uh, I don't pay attention to the Rotten Tomatoes. I just make up my own um, uh, opinion about it. And I review it just like everything else on this channel. Uh, this is 107 minutes from 2020. Uh, again, in English, because I got to make sure sometimes these films are in like Russian or, you know, Korean, J Jap Japanese, yada, yada, yada. Uh, with her marriage about to implode, Miriam returns to her hometown to seek solace in the comfort of her younger sister and brother-in-law. But one evening, a tiny slip in judgment leads to a catastrophic betrayal, leaving Miriam shocked, reeling, and furious. Believing her only recourse is to exact revenge, Miriam takes extreme action, and, to price, and the price of retribution is high, and she is not prepared for the toll it takes as she begins to emotionally and psychologically unravel. That sounds like a run-on sentence. I don't know. It's got some like, you know, commas in there, but a lot of commas. One, two, three, not uh, whatever. So, looked interesting. Picked it up. I will watch this really soon. So, that is everything for this small video today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen or heard any of these titles and what you thought of them so i'll put vincent on top here and then of course see there and then all the dvds and blu-rays that i picked up today and a couple from last week and i'll catch you guys real soon okay bye